So that if the government's not doing its job of protecting the people's rights, if it's actually destroying the rights and hurting the rights, that's a government you can get rid of, right? Then you can lay a new government down, right? You can abolish it and institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles, in other words, new principles, uh, to do the job correctly, right? When do you get rid of your microwave? When it's not working, right? When do you get rid of your government? When it's not doing its job, it's not protecting your rights, okay? So that's the idea here. If the government stops doing what it's fundamentally supposed to do, then you can get rid of it. That was what they were saying. Okay, so let's go on. So how do we know that this government was doing a bad job? Well, they said, when a long train of abuses and usurpations evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. I know some of these words are tough, but basically they're saying uh, a long train of abuses, right? Issues or problems evinces a design or shows a, shows a pattern um, to reduce them under despotism. It's their right to throw off such a government. Okay. Uh, maybe some of you guys have heard some of the arguments they made against the King, King George III in the declaration. Anybody know any of the points they brought up in the declaration saying, hey, these are examples of why this government's gone too far? Well, uh, Kate mentioned uh, one, she mentioned taxation, right? Now, taxation is only mentioned one time in the whole Declaration of Independence. It's the one thing that we tend to, Americans tend to mention, but it's not just taxation, it's taxation without representation, right? So the really fundamental critique there was that the government wasn't representing the people's interests. It wasn't listening to their voice, which was a big thing the founders thought that the government should do, okay? Well, I've got, anybody know any others? I've got a copy of it right here. So let me just read you a few. Uh, he's made judges dependent on his will alone, right? So he's, the king is basically uh, kind of dictating what the judges do. Uh, he's cut off trade with all parts of the world, uh, depriving us in many cases the benefit of trial by jury. Uh, in other words, they thought they should have fair trials and that, that wasn't happening. Uh, suspending our legislatures. In other words, hey, we, we're supposed to be part of the lawmaking process. You're getting, You're suspending it. Okay, you're, you're stopping us from making laws, right? So if you get the idea, basically they're saying the, gov the government's doing things that it shouldn't. It's stepping in and hurting the people's rights. It's doing the things that we should be allowed to decide, the people. Okay, so there, there's a bunch of these uh, critiques, uh, and I'll have you read them uh, for homework so you can pause that. We can pause on that for a minute. But um, in, in, every, in every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be a ruler of a free people. Can anybody define ty tyranny for us or a tyrant? Go ahead. Someone who gives does everything they can to give themselves absolute power who does things or usually a it's usually a major political figure in a in a society that does things to benefit them and not other people good yeah i like how you said usually they have a lot of power but somebody with a lot of power is not necessarily a tyrant but yeah when they start just benefiting themselves and hurting the people. That's essentially what a tyrant is. They're, they're, they're not caring about the people themselves. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah. So, um, so a revolutionary let me just define these terms. A revolutionary attempts to change the type of government. They might punish those in power, right? They're pretty upset. They're trying to, they're trying to get back at those who are hurting them. A conservative is someone who tries to redirect those in power back to their proper place. Um, uh, aims to preserve at the established, aims to preserve the established government, right? They're saying, okay, we're going to keep this government that we have and uh, not, not uh, get rid of it altogether. We try to keep it, you know, make it, make it what it should be, right? Keep it where it, where it should be. So were the American patriots revolutionaries or conservatives? Uh, more, what would you say? Were they, did they fit more in the revolutionary camp or the conservative camp? Not sure. That's fine. 
Not sure. Okay, okay no problem. Uh, Ro- what, do you, what would you say? Uh, revolutionaries, because they fought to um, uh, and they like punished them. Well, one uh, well, they at first they were conservative, but then when they rejected it, they became revolutionary. That's a great answer. Yeah, because it's really both, right? They were actually both at different times. At first, they were conservative. They really didn't want to leave the British government. How do we know this? This is they re- they re- they petitioned for redress in humble terms, right? They were saying, "Hey, we really don't want to leave uh, the the British government. We want to stay around." But they got slapped in the face, right? Their 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 petitions weren't answered very nicely, so they became revolutionaries, right? So for many years they were conservatives until they said, "Hey, wait, enough is enough. We want to get rid of this government. It's it's like tyrannical, right? It's not doing its job. We want to get rid of it." So yeah, they were essentially they were they were both, um, if you want to look at it that way, at different at different points. I mean, it's hard to argue they weren't revolutionaries, right? Because we had the Revolutionary War, uh, but they certainly uh, many of them were conservatives before that, trying to reform or recorrect the government that was there. In fact, uh, a lot of American principles are based on British 